What's going on, guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS bringing you a brand new video. And let me start off by saying what you're about to watch is by far one of the most epic 10v10 three stars I've ever had a chance of watching. I want to give a big shout out to everybody over in Red Rhinos for letting me know about the attack and allowing me to come into the clan and bring it to you guys. So big shout out to them. So without further ado, I promise you will not be disappointed after watching this attack. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. All right, guys, so before we hit replay, I just want to give you guys an idea of what the base looks like. I'm not even going to show you guys the army composition yet. Uh, I'll go over that once we're watching the replay. But this is the base. This is not a tier one. This is not a tier two. This is a fully maxed tier three. As you guys see, it is number six on the map. And Jezmech actually got the victory over, over Red Rhinos. But Red Rhinos definitely taking uh, the best attack of the war home without a doubt. So we'll go ahead and hit replay. Now I'll go ahead and pause it. So this is the army comp. So right off the bat, you're gonna notice something a little different than you're seeing on your normal queen charge attacks. I mean, usually you're bringing at least three rages for the queen and minimum two heals for the hogs. Depending on the base, sometimes it's two rages for the queen three heals for the hogs but check this out guys we got four rage and one heal 21 hogs seven are going to be flying out of the cc and the, the the biggest thing you might notice is seven healers and no not all of those healers are going to be used on the aq i'm going to go ahead and hit play and we can watch exactly how mugiwara goes ahead and breaks this base down wizard coming in up at the top there goes queen uh, notice he drops her far uh, far enough back to where that cannon is not in range of her. So there it goes. Uh, it has to be careful with the healer placement, uh, making sure that the air defenses do not lock onto her. So as you guys see, there's five healers on the queen. Question is, where are the other two healers going to go? So here we go. Ideally, and it's, not, and it's not a big charge. It's not like, you know, he's bringing 12 wall breakers. I mean, this is definitely something um, that you can try at home. So here we go. Uh, two wall breakers, I don't know where the hell they went, but two, the other two did pop the wall under rage, uh, only bringing four to this attack. So first rage already down on the queen. Here comes the CC, check it out, getting the enemy archer queen and the enemy CC, sharing them inside of that uh, max level five poison, goes ahead and takes care of both of them. Now the second rage is down, so he has two more rages left and a heal. Here comes the hogs, you guys. So queen, she's doing her thing, beating on a wall, of course. And we have a little tiny Kiwi walk coming in at 3 o'clock down there. But we have to check this out. Look at all the hogs down and check this out, guys. Two healers are on the hogs. And not only that, we have raged healers healing up the hogs. There's literally nothing that's taking them out. So not only do you have the hogs staying at full health, uh, but they're chewing through these defenses twice as fast as they normally would just under a heal spell. So went ahead and took out all those high HP uh, Expos and that Fernal Tower and went ahead and used a heal spell to cover the Wizard Tower and a couple more of these point defenses. But check this out. All the hogs clumped up. Even one healer does an incredible job healing these hogs up. Check it out. Just a couple shots and those hogs heal right back up. And here we go. Uh, you did use Queen ability, but that Queen is still alive, ending on a cannon that the Queen was uh, distracting. And the last defense that actually went down was that air defense let me know if this is one of the coolest 10v10 three stars you have ever seen and one that i actually want to fc and practice on uh bases if you're wondering what style of bases you'd be using this attack on obviously it's going to be on a base that has all four air defenses offset uh because uh, you know you're using healers on the hogs you don't want them to be targeted by well air defenses so that was incredible now and for those of you that are watching this, you, I have I have seen a similar attack to this 
9v9. Uh, I believe people were calling it the Mwasum, if I'm not mistaken. But I have seen this similar style attack done at Town Hall 9. This is one of the first times I've ever seen it. No, actually, it's the first time I've ever seen it. Uh, 10v10, and not to mention, this is a fully max base. Imagine what this would do to a lower weight Town Hall 10. Let me know what you guys think of this 10v10 attack strategy down in the comment section below hopefully you guys enjoyed the video as much as i did if you did make sure you guys leave it a like again comments questions or concerns down in the comment section below of course subscribe to the channel if you have not already as always this is riggs from clashing ffs and i'll see you in the very next video